party happens right here. Right here. Right here. Sante, okay. cheers to your health. Sante! Who's down it? So Even we're gonna make some cocktails. Yeah. Emily and Carrie, you ready for some cocktails? Yeah, you know I am. We're at home. Yeah. Get ready, it's gonna be a delicious cocktail. So <laughs> today, what we're making is a, what is it? We are making, well, we made our cherry balsamic shrub. In the last which portion. Which is divine. Which yeah. is so good. It's right and here. Ready so we are going to, this is our little nod to its southern roots um, by doing a traditional um, shrub soda with bourbon. Little tip. tip yeah. Cap. Uh, cool. And I can't wait to do this. So, um, it's an easy drink, right? And which is great. Easy drinks. Yep. No fancy. No fancy yeah. cocktail no. equipment needed. I'm gonna do a cool little garnish as well. Um, we'll talk a bit about that as well mm -hmm. as we get going. So, like every fantastic drink, we start with ice. Ice. Right? Ice. Let's do it. Lots so, of ice. Lots, lots of, ice. of ice. So, how far? How much up? I like to fill to just about an inch from the top. So more ice than you kind of. Yes, that you probably need. And that's something I, I always find in that when I first started making cocktails, I never add enough in the ice. I would only put like a few cubes in the bottom. Right. Um, a lot of ice. I'll even just dig my glass right in. Sometimes you just gotta dig your glass in uh, and pour it over the street. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you, you know, as long as just you like that. wash your hands and use your fingers. Yeah. We're all friends here. <laughs> um, all right, so we got our ice and so at home, you got the recipe in front of you. We're gonna go over it again for our guests here and our kitchen crew. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking at, well, today we're using a beautiful bourbon. Jim Beam bourbon, yep. black. You can use whatever bourbon you'd like. Right. Um, you can also, I mean, you can also make this with, you know, Canadian whiskey. Single or, malt, Irish yep. whiskey. whiskey. Anything you think would taste good with cherries. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I like. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Even if you want, if you could just do, you do vodka if you wanted, if you just wanted to just taste the cherry. What about Grand Marnier? Something like that. Yeah. yeah, being a liqueur, it might come out a little sweet. Um, and I guess, what is Grand Marnier? What's the percentage of that? I'm always okay, like, like, is it strong 30? enough? It's 30, <laughs> yeah. 30? 30? Yeah. 30 yeah. 40, yeah. yeah. But it would be fun, even if I could see mixing parts. Yeah. You know, if you did like whiskey and Grand Marnier and the shrub, that would be pretty mm. amazing. Yeah. Cool. Um, We're going to keep it simple though. Yeah, let's do it. So we got our bourbon, Jim Beam bourbon. We've got some soda and we've got some garnish. So let's do the first thing first. We've got bourbon. So yeah. how much are we pouring today? We're going to make a nice stiff drink, ounce and a half. A little stiffy. Yeah. yeah. Hey. <laughs> okay. So ounce and a half. Okay. We're yeah. just going to pass around. Pass around. Um, and it's it, okay, a little, a little oops. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no oops. need to measure here. No. We'll just pass that around. You know what? As long as you're not driving, you have nowhere to go. Yeah. If you're at home. It's fair game. Yeah. Um, and you don't have to add alcohol to this drink either. Absolutely. And one of the things that's great about Sante and our well-crafted cocktails is that these make fantastic mocktails. And um, mocktails, we, we really feel strongly about this. I mean, the people... Okay. The people that drive us home, uh, the, the designated drivers, um, the mothers to be, yep. uh, the people that don't drink, people that are just our have friends health, who don't drink. Yeah. Friends who don't drink. People who have healthy goals and then just giving it up. Um, you might, if you're at a place, it seems like all the people who are having cocktails get special treatment, mm -hmm. whereas all the people who are, you know, being responsible and doing some, making some good choices, maybe, um, or choices best for them, yeah. are kind of left to have like sort of the lesser options. I think that affects the experience of anywhere you go. So, mm -hmm. our game is to. Bring those mocktails up, and yeah. I mean, add you know, you're getting electrolytes in there. You're getting hydration as well. And From the shroud, yeah. yeah. So even a good trick is like, 
use it as a buffer. When you have a fantastic looking drink, if you have one without alcohol, and then you have one with, and then without, right? you don't have those, you know, people don't obviously know it's your personal business, but also you don't get the pressures, yep. and you kind of space it out so you can stay in the game longer, mm -hmm. and it's a longer night, it's a more fun <laughs> night, so anyway, mocktails, we focus on that as well later yeah. in the segment. Everybody deserves really delicious, really beautiful drinks, For sure. um, regardless if you drink alcohol or not. So now we're ready to add our, our shrub concentrate. Um, so we are going to add a half ounce of shrub. That's it, right? Eh? Yep. It's a very strong, again, that it's idea concentrated, of concentrate. Right. Yep. So you only need a half ounce. And I just like to pour it over the ice. Oh, this is going to be a beautiful, dark, mm. rich color drink. Mm. Pass that around. Yeah. I went with a, a generous half ounce. <laughs> just so that I really, I'm, I'm really enjoying We're all yeah. a generous half ounce around here. Yeah. And I, the flavors. We saved the cherries that we made the shrub out of, and I'm even just gonna throw a few of these right into the mix. Awesome. I'm gonna grab this, this right here. Here's a little um, garnish that we made beforehand. We just took some rosemary, and we just skewered some raspberries and berries, some blueberries, whatever we had around, mm -hmm. and you give them a little mist, a little dunk in water, and then you just pop them in the freezer and you freeze them. They get a nice little uh, frost on top, mm -hmm. it's for presentation. And then you just pop one of those in, and then actually you can use it for any garnish that you Stirring can use to too. stir. It's fantastic, yep. or to muddle. Thank you. There you go. Um, then, I mean, garnishes is an important part, a very important part of any drink. And that's one thing as well in the segments for Sante, is we're gonna be looking at full sessions on garnishes. Some fancy ones, some easy ones, like apple yep. fans and orange twists. Some cedar tip infused, spruce tip infused sugars yep. for rims. Yep. Smoking glasses with cedar oh, yeah. smoke char. It's gonna be, we're doing a whole bunch of that. So That's where it gets fun. It's gonna get really fun and, and creative, so. Yeah. yeah, it's all about presentation. Absolutely. Yeah. Look good, taste good, be good. Yeah. <laughs> well, what? and so, and to finish, other than the garnish, but to finish, I'm just gonna top the soda. Here, we'll top soda to you. Thank you. Pass this around, um, and then I don't. I just and then I'll just do a quick little stir. I'm gonna stir with my awesome little garnish. Oh, you can stir with the garnish. Yeah, it's a built-in tool. So this is shrub, cherry shrub, cherry balsamic shrub with soda and a little bit of bourbon. Mm -hmm. Sante, cheers to your health. Sante. Uh, so at home, we'd love for you to take a photograph of your cocktail and use the hashtag below and that way we can all share and see how everyone did and how we made out and it's, it's more fun when everyone can sort of share the experience and you know, we see how people are garnishing and doing different tricks and putting their unique twists on So we encourage you to do that and uh, yeah, absolutely. Cheers. 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 Cheers.